My dad never liked cats because he had never been exposed to cats. So when I moved back in with him and last year with seven cats, I didn't know how this is gonna go. At first, my cats were super freaked out about being in a new place, except for one of them who is Scooty. She's this very, very quirky cat and she was so curious about my father. I asked my dad about Scooty. What was your initial response to Scooty's attention towards you? She come close to me and uh, sitting down and uh, bothering me too much. <laughs> 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 One day, uh, Christina took uh, Scooty out close to me. This she liked very much. She was seems like a very happy beetle. She was very happy. After that, I feel like more close to her. So what's it like living with Scooty? They are acting like almost my family. <laughs> she is they, your family. <laughs> She's are, your grandbaby. They are very comfortable to stay in my home. Do you like when she sits on your lap? Yeah. I own a cat cafe. 2020 for me was particularly challenging because I think there was a lot of fear to go into a business where one of the owners is Asian. We made this decision to close for a, a while. So I started making masks. And I can't do it by myself. My parents had a clothing store for 40 years and I said, I really need your help. During this time, we started bringing in more and more fosters, and he was just so excited to see them. Crawling on the floor, checking every single carrier to look at every single cat. And I think they just really love his energy. <laughs> he watches a lot of Korean dramas, so every day they come, they hang out, they sit with him, they have special time together. But Scooty wanted to be my dad's best friend. For my dad, Scooty is his other last daughter, his Scoochie. She really likes you. <laughs> Every day she comes in and plays with Appa. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. And many more. What are you? Yeah. Happy birthday, Scoochie. Happy birthday.